ninth story from the Gateless Gate from the book Zen Flesh Zen Bones written by Paul Ripps. Umon's sidetrack. Before he finished the phrase, Umon asked, you are reciting another's poem, are you not? Yes, answered the student. You are sidetracked, said Umon. His master said, you are reciting a poem like any other big, big poets. They live in a dreamy world and they give dreams like most of the religious leaders give dreams. Political leaders give dreams, but they are not practitioners. <laughs> and you believe looking at the dreams of the film actors in the films, in the script, you think that is possible. Those people are actors. They are not practitioners. And if you see those phrases, you see those scripts and you think it is very effective, then you have to put it into your practice. And when you put it into practice, you are powerful. You have become a, a Bhagavad Gita book by yourself. You have become a Purana by yourself, a Veda by yourself. Yes. When that happens, you are first time in your life, you have roared like a thousand men. Water. Otherwise, you are sidetracked, said Uman. You are sidetracked by many people. And you kept on telling your, that you are a Christian, a Muslim, a Hindu. But people sidetrack you. They don't even look at you. But if you have practiced, like one of my political leaders in Indranagar used to always come and tell me, Rakumji, once I get power, I will do exactly what you are doing. <laughs> helping the children, helping the poor, etc. I said, without power, I am doing it now. <laughs> There's no need of getting that power. What is power? If you practice, that is power. If you not practice, you are not powerful.